Just like you shouldn't be running abrasives through your AMS, you also shouldn't print straight away with a fresh spool of filament. You should make sure it's dried thoroughly and completely before you begin printing with it. Otherwise you might get some print artifacts or it could jam up your machine. So to answer the question how this stuff prints, um, pretty well I'd say. I didn't dry it properly. I fed it through an AMS, which you're not supposed to do. And I didn't have the correct settings necessarily. I just used the PETCF setting, not PETGF. And you know what? It turned out super well. I mean like flawlessly. Look at it. Look how good it is. Oftentimes the fiber reinforced stuff will have the effect of hiding the layer lines because it's got a textured surface because of the composites that's embedded within the plastic. And this is no exception. It looks very good. But I do have to admit, this looks very good. Should use the smooth blue plate that BQ has instead of this one that's meant for PLA and PETG. Or you could use glue stick to help it release from the plate. Uh, PETGF, very good material, pretty stoked with the result. Printed super easily, and I think it's only like 33 bucks a roll. So for a super high performance material like this, I can't complain. But like, Come on, dude. The results speak for themselves, you know?